Hi. Well, here I go again. I swore I wouldn't do this any longer because, um, A, they haven't tasted very nice. In fact, some of them, these junk meals or this pre-prepared food, ready meals, I think they're called, um, a lot of them were frankly disgusting. But this one's only 98p. <laughs> And another reason I didn't want to carry on doing this, and I swore I would not buy any more ready meals, is that we do have actual food poverty in this country. Since the amazingly cruel benefit reduction programme that has uh, been going on in this country under the sort of bogus philosophy of austerity, which has succeeded in doubling the national debt, um, you know, people are going without food. If you sign on for benefits, you have to go five weeks without any money at all. Um, and I just, I just wonder what this country has become, to be honest. But anyway, here we go. M beef, M beef. What is M beef? I wonder. M. Moo. Anyway, M beef, chili and rice was three pound twenty five. Now ninety eight p. You see, like someone could really need this food who uh, hasn't got any money so I really should stop doing this and it says pulled beef chili and rice in a tomato and chili sauce with cherry tomatoes can't see any cherry tomatoes uh, let's have a look at the ingredients Water, red pepper, black turtle beans. I've never heard of turtle beans. <laughs> Sweet corn, basmati rice, blah, blah, blah. Garlic puree, coriander sprigs. I can see a coriander sprig. Chili, salt, sugar, cocoa powder, mushroom concentrate, pea starch, corn flour, caramelised sugar syrup, concentrated onion juice, molasses. Well, what I'm not seeing is a ton of, um, you know, E numbers and sort of fake ingredients. I mean, the dodgy ones are at the end there. Allergy advice may contain nuts. Nutrition typical values as consumed per 100 grams. Right, 2.4 grams of fat per 100 grams. And this is... 400 grams, so uh, 10 grams of fat in this. Well, I've seen worse. Fiber, 2.8 grams, that's great. Carbohydrate, 13.6 grams, of which sugars, 4.6 grams. Protein, salt. So sugars, uh, 4, 4, 16, 4, 6, 24, 18.4 grams of sugar. Or sugars. I don't know whether that means it says carbohydrate of which sugars. Don't know what that means. These things are deliberately obscure. Okay, you've got to cook it for four minutes and the traffic lights are all green. 400 gram, a pack. Right, great. It says a pack rather than half a pack or 600 grams or whatever it is, you know, they usually put in there. Fat, 9.2 grams. Saturates, 2.1. That's quite a lot. Sugars, 17 grams of sugar in this. That is amazing. And it gets a green traffic light. 19% of sugar. Ugh. Right, salt a gram. That's not too bad. And it's all green. So, I mean, generally, although I consider there's far too much sugar in this, um... It's not as bad as some. And in fairness to these ready meals, I mean, it doesn't look bad either. I mean, look, you know, it looks sort of genuine. It's been shaken up a bit. There's a the coriander. Um, it looks nicer than a lot of them. And in fairness to these ready meals, I mean, I haven't done any curries. And the Indian food, as I remember it, because I haven't had one for years and years, I mean, probably decades, is a lot better than certainly the Chinese stuff, more or less all of which just wasn't worth it and garbage, really. So this is something new. Let's try this. Right, I'm going to go and heat it up. I'll see you in a minute.
Okay, here it is. Um, it smells very Mexican. And looking at it, it looks Mexican. <laughs> and I guess that's what the M stood for on the label, Mexican. I absolutely love Mexican food. I don't eat nearly enough of it. Um, best Mexican food I ever had was in a restaurant in New York. And, um, well, yeah, very fond memories of that. But not a story I'm going to be telling any time soon. Okay. I was probably meant to stir it up halfway through or something, but I didn't bother. So we'll give it a bit of a stir now. Okay, let's try the rice. Yeah, kidney beans, rice, Mexico. Mmm. Mm. <laughs> Very hot. <laughs> but great because it tastes like it should. It doesn't taste weird. If you taste the um the Chinese and the Chinese range, the rice what they call fried rice, which is just rice, eggs and peas. It tastes really odd, you know, they've added something weird to it. This tastes as it should. Excellent. Let's try a bit of the rice with a bit of the um, beef. Mmm. Now, this is quite surprising. This actually tastes good. It's a little bland. I think this is by far the best ready meal I've had. It needs perking up a bit. I don't want to put any more salt on it, so. Put a bit of pepper on there. This is actually very, very good. Mmm. Yep. I don't say this often about ready meals. And you're a fool if you live on these things because of all the ingredients that I pointed out earlier. I'm not cooking for yourself. But this one is good. I would buy that again. And for 98p, for 400 grams, I think that is, well, the reduced price, I mean, that's an absolute bargain for the original price, which was three quid. In a pinch, I'd do it. You know, if I came home late or something, I didn't have time to cook, I had nothing pre-cooked. I had to grab something for the supermarket. I would happily buy that. Excellent. Well done, Morrison's. <coughs> The chilli just caught the back of my throat. There's chilli in it. There's real chilli. Excellent. Okay, that's it. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you next time.